I just wanted to share with you guys some of uh, the video clips I actually was able to recover uh, from my phone after I put out the video of uh, Mike's behind the scenes uh, Lemons Rally 2022 Rust Belt Ramble. Um, so just uh, hope you guys enjoy and... Uh... In the uh, interest of keeping all of our stuff safe, we decided to uh, bring in the, uh, the original Detroit special. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what this kind of looks like as we uh, go into the lobby here. You know, we had to make sure that the original cozy coop that we found on last year's rally um, survived and didn't get stolen. So brought it into the actually every single hotel we went to um, on the rally and got a lot of laughs and a lot of looks from people. Um, it's kind of nice the first hotel is like we had our own little cozy coop garage inside the building. It was kind of nice, you know, seeing a lot of the teams from last year that we, you know, met, and a lot of new people this year um, on the rally. You know, there's that uh, Dodge there in the back corner, that red uh, duster, I believe that is, and he was on the rally last year with his son, but couldn't do do the rally this year, so he actually handed out Verners to everyone, which was pretty stinking cool, you know, you know, just seeing people, um, you know, once again that we saw before. How many of these cars are in a row? You know, one thing we did this year as compared to last year was we tried to, you know, befriend more teams and, you know, get a group of people together. You know, it's not a race, it's all for fun. So we decided, hey, Let's just have a group of people and, you know, just cruise around as a big old happy family. And it turned out pretty cool, you know, learned a lot of things from people. And we were talking on the CB radio we had with us pretty much the entire time uh, with the Rice Krispies, uh, Matt and Jackson and that bright green Cavalier. And along with Charlie, uh, while he was with us um, for the first day. And one of the things we could never figure out exactly in this area here where this video was shot was... Was it a rock slide or was it just some kind of road maintenance going on? Uh, this is in southeastern Ohio area um, on our way into West Virginia, um, which was also pretty cool. Kind of reminded me a lot of Michigan with uh, how bumpy and kind of crappy some of the roads were. Um, it was really hilly. Uh, kind of reminded me of uh, the so our central southern area of Ohio with like Hocking Hills area and things like that. Um, but, you know, definitely a place I would drive back to again and check out. Um, probably not in a smart car again, uh, unless I find another one since, you know, unfortunately we don't have any of them. But we do have a few other cars that we can choose from in the stable um, for the rally next year, which we plan on doing Rust Belt Ramble 2023. Um, and hopefully uh, Luke from the Lemons Blockheads. Uh, he's also known as the Bearded Wrencher here on YouTube. Uh, hopefully he can tag along with us and um, be on our team. I'm not sure if we'll change our team name for next year or we'll still you know, run as the Little Yikes uh, since we won't have a Cozy Coop uh, for next year most likely, but we shall see. You know, we still have a year to plan um, till then. But it's kind of kind of disappointing I lost a lot of the footage that Mike shot and I was only able to recover, you know, this much of it, but, you know, it's kind of cool I was able to actually get it, you know, recovered so you guys could see some of the driving and stuff like that to go along with the pictures you saw in the other video that we had. Um, I really do want to go back out to, uh, to New York where we got this pizza um, over at Ellie's Deli. Um, yeah, it's eight hours, but you know, I've driven, you know, two hours to go down to the last hot now that's survived here in the United States. So, hmm, we'll find a car with good fuel mileage and just drive out there. Maybe take my wife's Prius that's lifted. But yeah, went up on the Skyway um, there in Buffalo towards, actually on the last day of the rally. Um, I took a wrong turn. Um, it was kind of confusing. There was like three left turns you could take, and I took the wrong left turn. I think I took the middle turn instead of the last turn and ended up on the highway again. So we just took a five mile detour and, you know, came back around. But 
it was a good little cool thing to see, you know, see the outside of the silo city that we were at where General Mills stored all their grain for the cereals. Unfortunately, there was no cereal in the, uh, the towers there. But, uh, you know, New York was pretty fun. Um, you know, Buffalo is kind of like into New York um, on the west side there, but, you know, definitely a place I would actually go back to again and check out. They had a lot of cool things that, unfortunately, just with the time constraints that we had on the last day of the rally and needing to work in a day, um, uh, we couldn't really stay around after the awards ceremony, and uh, so we just left pretty much after everything got done and headed for home. Uh, got caught in some rain, as you guys heard before, and uh, had some hydroplaning issues with the car, so had to stop for the night since the rain was so horrible. Um, I did figure out why we had the hydroplaning issue. Uh, it was mainly because I had that uh, the back rack on the car is a little too much uh, tail end weight on it, and we were very, very loaded compared to last year. We had tools and parts and gear from the floor all the way to the ceiling um, inside the car. This were like some uh, canals and everything right there in Buffalo over by the old warships and there's a submarine there too. Would have loved to go through it, but just unfortunately did not have the time uh, to go through it. But like I said, once again, definitely a place I would go back to and check out. There's Mark, or uh, Mike with Shark Girl. We have a new gift. Yeah, getting this Jeep on the car was a chore in itself because you know i make everything harder than it needs to be should have just listened to drew in the first place and he said hey just take that cozy coupe off the back and you know put that car on there and you should be all fine and i was like no no we'll put it on the roof i just didn't want all that tail weight on the car with that rack but unfortunately that's where it had to go and you know they made us hydroplane a little bit more but i learned my lesson uh for next year from when we do another cozy coupe um, on what we'll do we're going to definitely have some weight off the front of the car. Um, last year's car did have a tendency to want to scoot around a little bit in the front, too. But, you know, engines in the back, all your weights in the back, and, uh, you know, what do you do? Hey, it's five minutes still. This was not Alex's idea. He wanted me to specifically tell you that. Look what Drew and Leah did to me. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. You know, driving on the lakeshore heading back was pretty cool too, because it's a spot I've never really seen before. Um, Lake Erie. Um, we live over on Lake Michigan side of Michigan on the west side of the state, so we see all the lake over there, but. This is another one of the Great Lakes I haven't seen. It's pretty cool to see, you know, the sun setting at night and driving along it. Unfortunately, there's a lot of houses, but some of the houses were pretty cool uh, to see while we were driving um, on the rally, finishing up on the last day. It was kind of nice that the rain held off until it got dark. Um, unfortunately, didn't have the uh, air conditioning connected on the car, which would really helped with the uh, unfogging of the windows on the inside. Um, so that was kind of fun. We had to keep constantly wiping condensation off the window, but once the temperature dropped enough, it wasn't too humid out that we had that issue. Um, you know, definitely another thing I learned, you know, for next year. Last year's car had working air conditioning, which we never actually used at all. So didn't really think anything of it for this year. Um, got a lot of looks when we went across the, uh, 80, 90 toll road there. Um, you know, pink and purple smart car all graffitied up and whatnot but the weather you know cleared up for us you know the next morning and got all nice and sunny and we uh we definitely enjoyed this year you know not only because we won but we got to meet a lot of new people and got to see a lot of people we saw last year as well so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh we'll see you in the next one Oh yeah, hot now.